In this film, we will talk a bit about how computer models, such as mathematical models and AI, can replace or reduce the use of animals in research. In modeling, the term biological systems refers to living creatures and their organs, and there are many different ways to describe how these systems function, for example, by drawing a picture or using words. Another way to describe different biological systems is through mathematical models, which use equations instead of words or pictures. These equations can be trained using a computer to fit data from a real biological system, such as a patient with liver disease. This method allows us to identify information otherwise undetectable by a human who is just looking at the data. In this way, we can get more information about the disease and plan better treatment for the patient. AI is short for artificial intelligence, and there are many different definitions of AI and how to use one. We can, for example, train an AI to find the difference between datasets, identify if there is a tumor in a medical image, or if a certain substance is dangerous or not. The AI is trained by first allowing it to analyze several examples where the correct answer is already known. A computer model is the simplified version of a biological system that can be used to simulate experiments in a computer. Then it is possible, for example, to calculate what would happen if a certain drug is administered to a liver disease patient. These kinds of experiments are cheaper and faster than animal experiments. As a result, it is possible to understand why the drug works and predict things that cannot be measured experimentally, either because there is no method for measuring it or because testing it in living creatures would be unethical. There is still no computer model that can describe an entire living creature. We still do not understand how all human body parts interact or what the consequences of new drugs or genetic mutations are for the whole body, either over a long time or after several generations. These are examples of areas where animals are currently being used as a model of the human body. By developing computer models for humans, we can perform experiments in the computer that are sometimes more accurate than those involving animals. But to develop these models, we need high quality data from humans. These data can come from blood and tissue samples or cultured cells. One example is a new system for diabetic patients who get insulin from an automatic pump that used to be tested on animals. Nowadays, a mathematical model of how blood sugar and insulin interact is used instead. In this model, populations of virtual patients can be created to test the new insulin pump before it is tested on real patients. Another example of where animals are often used is for the testing of new substances that might cause allergic reactions on the skin. Although animal testing yields a lot of data, these are not always relevant for humans. Today, there are methods combining cultured cell data from humans with AI that can predict if humans will develop an allergy to a substance or not. This was a short film about how mathematical models and AI can replace animal testing. If you want to know more or get in contact with someone who works with these types of models, you can contact the Swedish 3Rs Centre. We are the ones who made this film. The Swedish 3Rs Center is a national center of competence working to increase our knowledge of how animal testing can be reduced and replaced with other methods. 3R is short for replace, reduce, and refine. You can find more material and films on our website, jordbruksverket.se slash 3R.